everyone, thanks for tuning in, Casper here, and in this video we're going to show some, I guess you could call them myths, new quirks, and other things that are new in this gunmetal update. Quite a few of them relate to the swapping weapons mechanic, and there is some interesting results, so stick around. First up, you can now die to a fully charged headshot, despite having your dead ringer up. A zero charge headshot will leave you with 50 health. A headshot to an invisible spy will leave you with 5 health health, and this applies the moment you start to disguise. Jurati lasts half as long as when you aren't invisible. If as a medic, you pick up a medic gun that has a full charge when that medic dies, you get that full charge. If you swap wrench by picking up somebody else's wrench whilst already having a building, your buildings get destroyed. If you lay down stickies and then swap your sticky launcher, they get destroyed. They don't blow up, they disappear. If you're using the kunai and then pick up a different knife, you keep the overheal, but it drains down to the max health of the new knife. Similarly, if you've got something other than the kunai, and then you pick up a kunai, you get technical overheal, but then that drains down to the base health of the kunai. If you sap a building and then swap a sapper, you can't. You cannot pick up a dropped sapper. Whether this is a bug or something done on purpose, I'm not sure. Similarly, if someone has fully charged a soldier backpack, you can't pick it up. For some reason, it swaps to their rocket launcher. Again, is this a bug? I'm not 100% sure. Now that you can heal your mini sentries, you can not heal them with the rescue ranger for some reason. Again, is this a bug? If you've got the dockerless bar overheal and then you switch your secondary by picking up someone else's item, it works similarly to the kunai and it starts draining down now to your new base health. If you fully charge a baby faces blaster and then you pick up a scatter gun or something else, you do not retain your speed as expected. However, if somebody else has got a fully charged baby faces and you pick that up, for some reason, you don't maintain the speed, even though that something like that does work with the mediguns. If you've got the speed boost from the big earner and from the dead ringer, they don't appear to stack. They only basically count from the very last one that you get. And finally, for this particular video, a fully charged Machina headshot does 483 damage to a spun up heavy. What does that mean? It will still kill a fully overhealed heavy because they've got 450 health. Which means the Machina is now a lot more viable because you cannot do this with the stock sniper rifle. Thanks everybody for watching. This is just episode one. These are only sort of things that I thought of straight off the bat. If you can think of anything that needs testing or that you already know is a quirk, let me know. I'll do a sort of, I guess you could call this a Mythbuster style video. Basically testing some new mechanics which, you know, aren't clear exactly what is going to happen. Like that medigun thing, I would never have guessed that. So the fact that it does happen is very interesting. And my friends and I were discussing this and we think this is a terrible thing for competitive game modes. And obviously, thank you very much to my friends Mac and Bob for helping out in this video, and to everyone else, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.